Stylophora are a branching small polyp stony coral from the family Posiliporidae. Now, if that name sounds somewhat familiar, it's probably because it sounds like Posilipora. So Stylophora, Posilipora, and Seriatopora are all genera in the family and as such share a lot in common. Right off the bat, their appearance is very similar. They are all bushy, branching corals, and even on close inspection, their polyps appear nearly indistinguishable. I mean, based on these three macro images, could you tell me which of the three was a stylophora? When showing people coral in my tanks, I could always tell them apart as frags or full colonies, but up close like that, I'm actually surprised at just how similar they are. I always have to preface anything I say about identification with, quote unquote, I am not a coral taxonomist. And really, classification of coral is not a major interest of mine, but sometimes it sheds some light on how these animals are connected to one another. Having said that, the first time Stylophora were identified was way back in 1797, and let's just say the description of them could apply to about a hundred other corals. So here are a couple things I look for that help me tell them apart on a practical day-to-day -day basis. Seriatopora, or bird's nest, are right away the easiest to identify by their sharp points. Some like this pink bird's nest have sharper points than, say, a bird of paradise, but even still, they both have noticeably sharper points than either a Posilopora or a Stylophora. The remaining two are much harder to tell apart. Both Posilopora and Stylophora are branching SPS, but one variety of Posilopora forms these big, thick growths. This is Posilopora varicosa, so we can scratch him right off the list. But much more similar to the growth pattern of Stylophora is something like this Posilopora, which might be a Posilopora pistolata. The best way I can describe the difference in these two corals is how smooth the coral overall looks. Now, Stylophora has a very even appearance, while Posilopora seems to look just a little bit more rough in texture. Now, if you recall close up, their polyps are practically identical, so this is one of the times that taking a step back and observing the whole colony is helpful. So let's talk a bit now about care tips. We keep Stylophora mainly in both medium light and medium water flow. Their color for the most part is consistent, so moderate changes in lighting would not impact their color the same way as, say, a Montipora or Acropora, which could change drastically in color. Having said that, their overall growth and color might benefit from both stronger light and flow than they're receiving here. With all SPS, you want to regularly test calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium, because those are the three elements that are most important to fast-growing stony corals. A tiny bit of nitrate and phosphate are acceptable, but high levels of either may stop their growth or cause a crash entirely, so it's a good idea to keep an eye on those parameters as well. Lastly, feeding. We don't go out of our way to feed these corals, although they regularly get a spray of cloudy supernate from the frozen blend that we use. The smallest particles in the food are rotifers, which make the other corals in the tank go crazy, but it doesn't appear that Stylophora eat. In this time lapse, it's unclear whether they're eating the food when it's initially sprayed on them, but after a while, they started doing the bobbing polyp thing that Ganiopora sometimes do, so it's possible that they're consuming some of the food. Okay, that pretty much does it for Stylophora. They make a great addition to either a mixed stony coral reef or an SPS-dominated reef. Hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, happy reefing.